the relationship between people and computers really isn't that complicated. People tell computers what to do. Classroom lights on. Computers make people's lives easier. Please, Mr. Stacey, turning classroom lights on. All right, please begin. That's the idea behind coding. We're using voice to turn off the lights, but when you actually see the code that was written to do that, you're, you're going to realize it's really not that difficult. Really, coding is just a game. That's awesome. How did you do that? After a 20-year career as a software engineer, Mr. Stasiak decided he wanted to show students how to play. <laughs> the students that uh, have never coded before and students that, that are actually pretty good. And then there were students like Lance Schneider. I started taking Derek Stasiak's classes when I was a freshman. That was about four and a half years ago. Classroom lights off. It wasn't long before he had his own light bulb moment. You're turning classroom lights off. When a student comes in late, the teacher may lose two to three minutes of class time. So he started telling computers what to do. Mr. Stasiak taught me all the basics. Now I'm taking the basics and using that every day to create something people can use. Something like an attendance taker. And now I have a barcode system that allows kids to scan in by themselves without a teacher anywhere nearby. Lance took his concept to the school district's IT department. As the product developed, the game began. I'm the owner of Lavin Systems. I started that company when I was a junior in high school at Legend High School. His work ethic is really one of the things I think that separates him from most. A game that keeps developing. My new system will go from preschools to high schools, and it can go into every school across the country. A game that everyone wins. It's going to save teachers a lot of time, and it's very useful to every staff member in this building. All right, guys, have a beautiful day.